all right hey folks we finally made it to the Springer Mountain Trailhead uh, we're all packed up actually we got here about three o'clock this morning we uh, finally got everything in order we are actually getting started later than what I wanted to I'm not sure what time it is my phone's packed away but uh, we got about a mile Hang on, let me get you turned around here. We got about a mile to the, uh, I forget what it's called, the Springer Mountain Marker. And we just talked to, come on, buddy. We just talked to uh, some people that just came out. This one dude was 72 years old. And we didn't know that they had already done part of it. And me and Stephen was like, whoa, boy, I hope they're not going very far. Turns out they had been very far. But, uh, anyways, seen another guy this morning. Oh, this was pretty hilarious. Uh, when I woke up, I got it up, got to staring around, and I walked over here. And I seen a guy coming down the, or back up this road right here. And I, I, I holler, I said, hey, you, you at the end? He said, oh, I don't know where I'm at. I hiked all day yesterday and somehow ended up back at my vehicle. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, I, we, we got him on the right path. And so, hopefully we're on the right path because I'm going the way I told him to go. But I'm just following the map. So anyway, folks, here we are. We're started. Uh, we'll get back with y'all. Oh, well, sorry I'm wiggling you everywhere. All right, later. Hey, folks. All right, we're officially at the very start of the Appalachian Trail. Let's see if we can get this. Appalachia Trail, Georgia to Maine. A footpath for those who seek fellowship with the wilderness. I don't know if this camera is showing it up or not. It's pretty foggy out through there. But man, that view is so pretty out through there. You know, I've watched, I don't know how many videos on YouTube about this trail and dreamed about it and all that but golly it's nothing like being here folks I'll tell you that um, but we had to go zoom y'all back out we had to go actually a mile out of the way to get to this official spot so uh We've met quite a few people on the trail too already. Uh, I'm actually surprised at the amount of people that we've seen. But I'm not going to stay on here too long because we've got several days ahead of us and uh, not much battery. We've got one battery, so I've got to conserve it as much as possible. And trails go one, two, three, four five different directions here so I gotta figure out which way to go so we'll get with y'all later folks here's another little plaque right here Appalachian Appalachian National Scenic Trail Springer Mountain Elevation 3,782 feet. The southern terminus. All right, folks. Well, let's we'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Hey, folks. We are, I think we've gone about six or seven miles, something like that. Uh, just thought I'd give an update on where we're at. We just passed the, what, what was the name of that shelter, Stephen? What was the name of that shelter we was just at? I don't, I don't remember, but 
Anyways, we met up with a real nice guy. Uh, Stephen finally got his trail name. The guy looked at Stephen and called him Little Rocky. So that's his trail name now. Because of the way you built, I reckon, bud. Like Strike a rock. pose. Strike a pose. I'm built like a rock. Oh, because he's built like a rock. Uh, oh. Doing pretty good so far. Alright, bud. Let's get on across here. Careful now, don't play. Okay, I just wanted to give y'all an update of where we're at, what's going on, what's been going on. Uh, we've seen a lot of people on the trail, though. A lot more than I expected. Our goal is to make it, we got about another five miles, and depending on how I feel, we may keep going, I don't know. Like I said, depending on how I feel. Um, but that'll give us, we'll make it the next five miles, that'll give us about 12 miles for the day, which is an excellent, excellent day. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's about it, folks. It's beautiful out here. Um, what, buddy? All right, folks, we're at a crossing and there's nothing pointing the way. Oh, there's a blaze there, this way. Um, not doing too bad as far as pain level with my neck. Uh, I had couple of bad moments but nothing I couldn't handle I can feel it I'll tell you that I hear kids what is it oh that's that woman and those two kids uh, anyways I can feel it but whoo I'm gonna make it though. Okay. That little hill got me. I'm not. Well, good for you, little Rocky. <laughs> I started when I started, but I ain't now. <laughs> All right, folks, we're gonna get over here. We'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Sorry, pushing you. Later, Tater. Hey, folks. Not sure where we're at, but we just crossed uh, a road. Uh, I mean, I know we're on the AT. We uh, stopped to fill up. We're using our uh, Sawyer Mini. See if you can see that. Steve's, Steven's filling the bottle up. Correction. Little Rocky is filling the bottle up. <laughs> Here, put this on there. Wait a minute. Screws on that way. Get your... Uh, water bottle and uh, fill it up let's see so far we've met one through hiker go ahead and fill your bottle up bud hey. just have uh. Steven wants me to be the guinea pig I do it I just want you to see how cold it is Golly, did you put anything in it, bud? Tastes like water. <laughs> Is it cold? Pretty cool. <sighs> Got to fill it back up. I don't know how to get a lot of water in it. Uh, 
Uh, so anyways, uh, we've gone, I'm not really sure how far we've gone now, but I do know we got four, four and a half more miles, I think it is. No, it's not that far. About two more miles to our, uh, where I think we're going to camp at. I'm I'm starting to feel it pretty bad now. Um, my neck is really really giving me fits right now. I mean I'm still doing pretty good. I'm actually doing way better than I thought I would. Um, but I've had I've had some moments. Especially, well, I mean, like always, whenever I turn my head too far to the left, um, which is where it's at right now is about as far as it goes anyways. And it's like, it's like hyperextending your knee. If, uh, if you hyperextend <laughs> your knee. Hey, brother, what's up? <laughs> Well, pretty fast, huh? Yeah, you moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch up with you. Yeah. Uh, you guys catching some fish? Yeah, we're just filling our water bottles up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Making a quick video. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, bro. Um, that's through hiker. That's Josh. Uh, he's the one that gave Stephen his trail name. Uh, mm -hmm. Little Rocky. Uh, real nice guy, though. But he's actually done part of the uh, Pacific Crest, also. What'd you do that for? Oh, what? Oh, okay. Uh, but he's actually done part of the Pacific Crest, and uh, oh my goodness! You know, I took my pack off earlier. My backpack was stopped one time. And I thought I was going to float away. I really did. I took a couple of steps and it felt like I was just going to fly because I felt so light. Uh, it was weird. Uh, saw something. I, I'm pretty sure I was just hallucinating. But I saw something back up, about a half a mile back up the trail there. Uh, didn't hear it or anything. It was, it was, it was just one of them tricks of the forest one as that's one of them tfs tofs tricks of the forest totf uh all right folks i'm getting silly now so we're gonna fill our water bottles up and uh see if we can catch up with josh we'll get back with y'all later taters fill it up dude oops Hey folks, we uh, ow, that go. just got packed up, uh, getting ready to head out, we're going to eat some oatmeal, we got our packs all packed up, um, looks like other folks in the camp are, yep, everybody else is getting packed up also. Right, we're gonna all get headed out at the same time. We, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but looks like we might get wet today. Um, we got our ponchos. They're just those little cheap plastic ones. We didn't want to bring our big ones because of extra weight. But, uh, I don't know, we'll see. So, see if that water's hot yet. It don't have to be boiling, just just hot. Uh, but it keeps sprinkling on us. It's not anything bad yet. I guess if we went under this canopy of the trees, it would be pretty wet <clears throat> I 
Um, is that camera HD? Yeah. It looks good. It's brighter than on that. It does that I know, I noticed that. Uh, we're gonna have some oatmeal. Instant oatmeal for breakfast there. I got it. And, uh, well, that's all I got to say to y'all right now. Is it ready? Leave the lid on there, you're letting the steam out. Go ahead and put the oatmeal in the cups. My legs feel like they are tight as well. I mean, they, is your legs tight? Mine are. My calves are. I practice every day. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should come to football practice with me. No, I'm all right. You'd be in good shape. Tell you what, folks, I hate oatmeal. I hate it with a passion. But when you're out here on the trail and you're whoever knows how many miles from civilization can't be too picky uh, feel good though pumped up ready to put another 12 miles in <coughs> I think we'll make 12 miles today yeah we got to Next shelter is 12 miles away. That'd be 24 miles. Today. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty good. It's got bubbles in it. You can take it off. Yeah, go ahead and turn the heat off because we got to save our gas. All right, folks, we're going to eat and get on the trail and uh, we'll get back with y'all later. Later, Taters. Hey, folks. All right, we're just getting started. Um, our goal today is the next shelter, which is only eight miles away. So uh, we'll see how we feel at that one. Right now, my legs are pretty sore. My calves feel like they're going to explode. Um, Steven said his shoulders are sore, but his legs are fine, which he does practice and play football, so his legs are in pretty good shape already. Uh, our elevation right now, I think it's 30, 30, oh, 3,400 feet. I think 30, no, 3,700 feet. So we did some pretty good climbing yesterday. Um, and we're actually going to drop down today. I think we're going to drop about 200 feet. It's not much, but when your legs are as sore as mine, it's, it's welcomed better than going up another 200 feet much gradual you know 
don't know. That's pretty sore either way. Seems like when you go down, you're kind of holding back. So, I don't know, but anyways. So, we're going to make this eight miles. Oh, we should be able to do that pretty quick. Uh, well, yeah, I guess that's all we'll do is eight miles because well, we've only got 40 miles to go and we don't want to get done too quick because Mike Ware is supposed to pick us up and uh, take us back down to uh, Springer Mountain to where our vehicle is. So we don't want to get there too quick. I sure hope you don't change your mind either, Mike. Because <laughs> that won't be any good. Alright, folks. Well, just want to give y'all a little update. Oh, hang on, buddy. Not much to look at here. Uh, still haven't seen any bear. That don't mean they hadn't seen us. We keep seeing signs posted that uh, talking about the bear activity is um, pretty great around here. So, oh, I tell you, planes and helicopters fly low around here. Um, but yeah, I hadn't seen any bear. I really I hope I get to see some though <laughs> all right well oh sorry I'm shaking y'all so much we'll get back with y'all later hey folks checking in with everybody uh, oh, tell you what I've gained the most respect for people that do complete through hikes on the AT. Uh, I don't know if it gets easier when you get out of... Oh, sorry about that. I don't know if it gets easier when you get out of these mountains. But, uh, tell you what, this is some tough terrain. We have gone up and down, up and down. We'll go up a thousand feet, down a thousand feet. Oh. You went down two feet off that rock. Yeah. <laughs> David's back there behind me somewhere. Uh, it's been raining on us since we got started. But the thing is, the canopy is so thick over us that we're not really getting wet. Um, ooh, we just stopped a minute back down the trail there. I told Steve and I said, when we get to Blood Mountain, we're get, if there's a place to get one, we're getting the biggest, fattest cheeseburger there ever was. Yeah. What y'all see is how foggy it is. There's mountains through there. You just can't see them because of all the fog. Uh, whew. All right. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm gonna let the camera face forward. I'll let y'all see. <laughs> what we go through here. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't know if the camera does it justice or not, but uh, this is one heck of a climb right here 
what you got. What, buddy? That's the pillow. Already wet. I mean, my house. Oh, uh, I don't know. I have to figure it up. Uh, this morning we've done. This morning we've done uh, like four and a half miles. But I tell you, it feels like fifty miles. Uh, trekking poles are your friend, people. It's pretty difficult doing this right now, holding this camera. How do we get the fire here again? What? The higher we go, the fire here again. Yeah. The higher we go, the more fog that we get into, and the colder it gets. I wouldn't, I would say it's uh, probably in the low 70s. Uh, Oh God! <laughs> All right, folks. I'm gonna get off here so I can use both hands and both feet. <sighs> get back with y'all later. Hey, folks. We we'll stopped to take a break for a little bit. Oh, uh, Stephen's having a little trouble getting his pack on. It used to not be hard. Oh. We've seen this little rock bend, so we got up under it. Take a break from the rain and uh, the wind. If it wasn't so hot from hiking, it would be pretty cold right now. Uh, it's pretty shit. Oh, yeah. Hang on, folks. Found the birds. Did you get my shirt? No. Who oh, did? Yeah, it'd be all right here. Yeah, Stephen spotted some birds over here. Some little baby birds. I guess Mama's out somewhere, but I'm gonna try to zoom in on them there. Let's see, where they at? Right there. I don't think the camera's picking them up. They're tiny little things. But figure we better get away from here before Mama comes back. Tries to give us a whooping. So uh, we got about three, two and a half, three more miles. About three more miles to uh, our next shelter. So, uh, we'll get back with y'all later, folks. Uh, we're pretty tired. Pretty wore out. Pretty hungry. We gotta find a stream of water pretty soon because we're almost out of water. We got about a half. Uh, I don't know how much we got. Oh, that's it. Uh, maybe eight ounces of water is all we got left. We're going to find the stream hopefully pretty soon. All right. That's all I got to say to y'all for now. About with y'all later. All right, folks. So, uh, I'm not sure how much of it. This video you can see is getting pretty dark. Uh, we did eight miles today and god it was brutal it was the most brutal eight miles you could possibly imagine but um i'll try to turn some light on here uh it was it was horrible horrible eight miles my legs feel like they're gonna explode and uh we're staying at um gooch campsite uh Goot Shelter, I think that's the name of it. But we was just so tired. Uh, as soon as we got here, we put up uh, uh, 
No, we just got our sleeping bags out and that was it. Sorry, let me make sure we're zoomed out here. Yeah, we just got our sleeping bags out and set them up in that shelter there and that was it. We crashed, uh, took a good hour nap. Uh, and then woke up and there was people all around us. There's uh, a guy and his son. Uh, they're just uh, little day hikers. Uh, turns out there's a road not far from here. Uh, I think he said like a mile and a half. Um, they just parked their car at the end of that road and hiked up in here. And there's some more guys, another father and son. Uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, he's the the older guy. He's he's got a YouTube channel. Mike Bowman, B O W M A N. Um, he does a lot of hiking, so I'm gonna look him up whenever I get home. And uh, I did ask him if it was okay if I talk about him in this video a little bit. So he said yes. Uh, I took the coldest bath I think I've ever taken since I was a kid. Uh, I took a bath in the spring, not not far from the cabin here. Jeez, um, it was cold, but well uh, or much needed. Um, about it. We Stevens up there playing cards with uh, the 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 day hiker and his little boy. Uh, Mike and his son, which Mike is, he's almost 60, I think, what did he say, 56 or 57, uh, and his son, I'm guessing he's around 30, uh, they did 16 miles today, I'm like, jeez, how in the heck do you do that, but, uh, I tip my hat to them. You know, 16 miles, and that's the same trail we're, we've been walking. And I'll tell you, it's brutal. Uh, if you're not in some kind of decent shape, don't even try it. It will kill you, I promise. It will kill you. Uh, I thought I was in pretty good shape, but this here, this thing has proven to me that... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not as in good a shape as I thought I was, uh, but it's it's. I tell you, I uh, I really really enjoyed this trip. It's caused me a lot of pain, you know, with my neck, uh, but I wouldn't change it for nothing. Uh, it's you you. really hard to explain you just have to experience it for yourself uh, you uh, you really get in touch with yourself with uh, your feelings I guess um, yeah all right well I'm gonna get off here and get back over here with Steven uh, we'll get back with you guys in the morning later taters hey folks all right so uh, we we'll just the rain is relentless we just hiked three miles off the trail back to the main road and uh, somebody gave us a ride to this store here. We're in Sucks or Suches or something like that. Um, we just called the shuttle service to come and get us, take us back to Springer Mountain. Uh, back to our vehicle. It's supposed to be thunderstorms coming in and this rain is just it's just not letting up so uh, 
we're gonna call this trip done. I hate to, but we're both soaking wet. Everything we got is wet. So uh, that's about it, I reckon. So we'll get back with y'all when we get back to our vehicles.